Hey there everybody, this is Leanne with Vision RV and I'm shooting a live video of the 2022 Cedar Creek Cottage. The model is 40 CFK2. There is your floor plan, your length, and all your weights. So of course you got uh, two propane bottles on the front with the battery. Look at it's got so cute. It's got like this little white picket fence thing. It's so cute. Anyways, this is a 22, so it's going for a blowout price right now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a quick little walk around here. As you can see, there's one big giant or two slides on this one, one giant one and one on the back. The back one is actually for your bedroom. Here's your sewer outlet connection right there, along with your low point drain right there, and your fresh water drain. Here is your black tank flush, your fresh water connection, and your city water connection. In here, there is your hot water right there. Simple, easy, just like your house, like literally just like your house. Uh, in this little one, it's just like a little storage area, nothing too fancy. That's your vacuum there, power outlet. Uh, so nothing too fancy for that. You got the dual pane windows on here. Nice, um, the, the uh, high gloss paint on here too. Um, I'll show you the underbelly as well. Like, I did show it a little bit, but see, you got the underbelly there. It's enclosed, and it's separate panels. So if something ever does go wrong, you can, all you have to do is remove one panel in that area. You got six jacks, so two on the back, two there, and then two on the front. So you got six jacks on this beautiful thing. Here is for your TV. And then you got a big, beautiful slide here. The dual pane windows is also on your beautiful patio door too. So you got the dual pane on your patio door too. A lot of people ask me that question. So this, this is actually just built like, just like your house. Um, I'm not saying it is a house, but it is built just like your house. So it's framed, insulated, even has tresses like your house. And you have this massive, huge awning. And then, you, oh, of course you got this front cap. So you don't have to worry about the delamination or anything like that, because you got that big, huge front cap as well. And then your drain spouts are way up there too. So you got the runoff for the rain as well. Keeps everything really nice, safe, and secure. So you do have the heated and enclosed underbelly. You do have the heated tanks. You will have to skirt it, just like a modular home. You do have to skirt it. Like, you have to skirt modular homes. You have to skirt this too, especially here where it gets cold. Like, it, that's where all the cold air goes. It goes up and underneath. Hot air rises, don't forget that. So the cold air goes underneath everything, right? So when you walk into this door here, you have your bedroom right away. Instantly in your bedroom, you have your cadet heater. This is does not come with every Cedar Creek. This is what we put on our Cedar Creeks when we order them. The reason being is this instantly makes things nice and toasty warm in this bedroom. So you don't have to get up and go and kick on the furnace on those chilly nights where it was warm when you went to bed and then it's chilly later. All you have to do is press this button, turn up the temperature, done. It shoots on. This is your fan. These are your light switches there. You got your TV there. You got a little secret compartment on the dresser right here. Hi, your wallets, jewelry, all that stuff. Nobody's even going to know it's there. Nobody's going to know. Ah, just like the TikToks. I'm sorry. I'm a nerd. Please forgive me. 
as you can see this is where your hot water heater is i showed you that outside this is your hot water sorry hot water heater this is your hot water tank here is your hot water switch so you just flick that on and then you got your hot water switch okay here's your washer and dryer here that's your washer plug-ins and this is where you would vent out for a dryer okay nice huge closet like seriously look at this massive closet i kept standing in inside of this thing let's close the door see i'm actually walking like normal like yeah that's a big closet big beautiful closet you could hide in here you could store a couple of kids whatever you want uh so then you got of course a king size bed in here too nice little shelves on the top there because you got phone ports and outlets on both sides of the bed which is really lovely and then of course you got like everything else uh, all the other RVs you got storage under your bed too huge dresser one two three four five six seven eight drawers on this beautiful dresser and then you got Another closet right here with your King Wi-Fi hidden in there. So you got your King Wi-Fi. Now keep in mind, we do live in Canada. This is an American thing. It may not work as long as well as you're thinking it will. Just giving you the heads up. Plus a couple extra drawers there. Whole bunch of massive storage in this bedroom. And that's just the bedroom. Beautiful ceiling fan there. This is for where you can duct out your AC if you want to. That's just your fresh air intake. So then we go right here, right here in this little closet. So you've got a nice spot to hang coats or put your boots or whatever thing like that. And then you've got your control panel here. So you've got your tank heater right here. This is to heat your tanks. Just flick it on. Done. It instantly heats your tanks, okay? So all of these are your controls. You got all your lighting, all of that stuff, slide room, and your awning. This shuts off your slide room. So if you shut this off, nobody can come over and pull your slides in on you or anything like that. It's instantly off. Go through this door, and then you get to this beautiful bathroom. This bathroom is huge look at the size of these ceilings you got your rain sensor on a fantastic fan which is awesome because any little drop of rain it automatically closes so if you forget to close it you don't have to worry about coming in and your bathroom being flooded right you got his and her sinks the double sinks really nice a lot of storage in this bathroom as well and then you've got your medicine cabinet here, toilet here, so your knees when you're sitting, and it's a porcelain toilet, so that's nice. It can handle those harsher chemicals in the wintertime, so nothing freezes up on you. There's your controller for your fantastic fan and your lights. Look at this storage. I can't even reach that one. I'm sorry. I can't even, I don't know what I put up there. I probably wouldn't put anything up there because I'm so short. But then you got all this storage as well. Massive shower. Like you can fit easily two people in here in this shower. And the ceiling is huge. And then you got a big skylight. So unless you're like, I don't know, seven feet tall, that's the only way you're going to hit that skylight. Um, yeah, look at all the shelving you have in here. And then a nice size shower head. Like it's not one of those little baby ones. So it's a nice size shower head. I love the, the matte black finishing on these things. Hooks for towels, all that good stuff. Door you can just slide close. And nobody can get annoy you while you're doing your business. There is blinds, of course, for this. They're under the bed. We don't put them up because it's just plastic thing. And so we don't put them up because during transport, it never fails. They always fall off and then get damaged. People yell. Those are your stairs for your patio there. Don't worry about that. We install those for you. 
Now, here is your control zone for your furnace and your AC. You got your fantastic fan here for this one who also has the rain sensor on it as well. Awesome to have those rain sensors. I personally love those. And this is for your ceiling fan in the kitchen. Pull out couch. So this couch folds out into a bed. So if you have guests over, I mean, seriously, if you do have guests over, you can allow them to stay. Or you can tell, just tell them, no, it doesn't fold out. Because who really wants their guests comfortable? Because then they stay forever. Kidding. Kidding. Okay, so then you got your recliners here. Power recliners. There's your switch right there for your recliner. I'm sorry, I'm not hooked up to any power right now. And then you got your ports on your phone for your phone on both sides of the recliners, which is really fantastic as well. You do have a screen door for that patio door. It's hidden behind the couch. Again, we don't install it until it's ready to go because they always break, right? So it's just easier that way. More foam ports there. And then you've got your light switch there. You've got a beautiful ta wood table. And if you're thinking it's not wood, it's wood. This is solid wood. This is solid wood. Look, I'll show you. Solid wood. This is not fake this is all real wood chairs too beautiful and then look at the kitchen space you have including this absolutely gorgeous island solid countertop this is real solid countertop like you would find in your home you got a little dishwasher right here i mean what do you really need it's just gonna be one or two people in this unit right so you don't need a lot of dishes, a uh, big dishwasher. More foam ports there. More storage right here. You got lots of space. Like, look at all this storage in here. Tons and tons. And it just keeps going and going and going. Nice, huge, deep sink. Stainless steel with the matte black residential sprayer. Still going strong on the matte black, which I love. And then you got these beautiful lights, which tie everything in so nicely. You got the blackout blinds plus the shade blinds, so you can do both. Um, and then more storage on this side. Huge residential fridge, just gorgeous, lovely fridge. Huge fridge. And then this is like just like what you would find in your home, right? And then a big freezer. Again, just exactly what you would find in your home. Nothing different. Massive kitchen island with tons of storage in there. There's for your cutlery. And then that right there, that's your central vac, which I showed you is, is in that storage area under your bed. More storage there. An oven big enough to cook a turkey. Often I say that people don't believe me, but seriously, big enough to cook a turkey in there. This is the only difference between this oven and the one I have at home is this one runs on propane. Seriously. So then, of course, you have your convection microwave. And then look at this beautiful pantry that you have. This is your drying rack. They go with the sink. So look at this pantry. And these are easy glide shelves and they lock into place as well four burner cooktop fantastic to have right and then this is a nice little spice rack there for you and then you've got another spice rack on this side can't get any better than that more storage up there storage up there you got a 5,000 BTU fireplace, which is really fantastic because at that, you when you turn it on, it's electric. When you turn it on and, and use the heat, on those colder months when you don't need the furnace going, save your propane. Like, seriously, use your fireplace. It will heat up this entire freaking unit. Stereo right there. And then look at this, this TV. I think it's like a 57, it might be a 60 inch TV, I don't quite remember, but I can tell you that it's bigger than the one I have at home. And then you got more storage up there. So 
that's the 2022. By the way, this is not leather. It looks leather. It is not leather. It's what I call vegetarian leather. That's right. I said it. I'm not afraid. So it's easy to keep clean. So that's the 2022 Cedar Creek Cottage front kitchen. If you have any questions or concerns, by all means, give me a shout. My number is 780-977-2138. And thank you so much for taking the time to walk through this gorgeous unit with me. If you're planning on living in this all year round, you'll be fine as long as you skirt it. This is just like your home. Just like a home, dual pane windows, all that good stuff. This thing will keep you nice and warm. I mean, it's beautiful in here right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. If I were to turn on that fantastic fan, I wouldn't even need the AC. Anyways, thank you again. And let's get you camping. Bye, guys.